So when you um, when you're descending, yeah, you, you lower center of gravity, yeah, like this, yeah. So you're cornering better, yeah. And then when you're climbing, you kick yeah. up, and so then the you've seat got seat automatically rises. How does it do that? It's got like a shock, little shock absorber in there. Seriously. So, so it goes as perfect good. Well, you can go as so all you do press on here, and it goes as much as you want. Oh no way! So we, we were having some discussion on leg height length <laughs> and these map, so these things go down to there mm. and we're all about the show a bit of muscle, you know. Mm. So what do we think? Roll Why up. don't you just ah. get some of these Nike Pros and you can just go real short short? <laughs> yeah, no. The I just don't think that it look. You bit. can borrow these. <laughs> we don't discriminate. Like, have they got a chamois in them? Yeah, it's a trifle. What's that? Yeah. What's yeah. that? The padding? Yeah. No. They don't. But yeah, so I reckon, I reckon roll up, and this is standard, and I reckon roll it up. So what do you guys think? Standard. Let us, let us know in the comments below. Can I talk to you for a minute? Hey guys, I just thought I'd narrate this little bit of footage because uh, Glenn Harris and my mate and I have decided to turn right here just up this little hill and do a bit of a, a strength endurance effort. Now strength endurance training is a great uh, little thing in training that you can do. You just put it in a big gear, you keep your hands very lightly on the handlebars, you don't pull on the handlebars, you put it in a big gear, uh, low cadence and you go up a, a, like a long hill, like a, not a really steep hill but a steady hill and just push a big gear up the hill and that uh, if you do that repeatedly every week at least once a week you will get stronger now i'm doing it here you can see my cadence is 30 rpm which is very low for a strength endurance effort i'm actually in the 53 so the big chain ring on the front and the 11 in the back which is the smallest chain ring i'm just lightly putting my hands on the handlebars not pulling on the handlebars as such keeping my knees very up and down but uh, look, I've been racing bikes 20, 25 years, so I can, I've can i sort of built my uh, tendons to be able to handle this. A typical strength endurance effort though is about 60 RPM, so try to keep your uh, effort at 60 RPM and try to push about, you know, five watts per kilo or thereabouts, you know, you're obviously you're gonna mix it up. So for example, you might push 320 watts at 60 RPM and you'll do that five by five once a week. So for example, you might go out and do five minutes up the hill, find a hill long enough to do five minutes, and then you'll do five minutes up the hill, roll back down, do another five minutes, and do that five times. Now if you do that once a week, every week, leading into a big event, you will go further and further up that hill every week, and you'll just get stronger and stronger. So you can see there I kept my power fairly low because Glenn and I were cruising, but uh, yeah, that's strength endurance training. So. Uh, Try it out, something new to add to your training. What'd you say, the Boonen box? So, so this one here, yeah. Tom Boonen, Tour de France, so seven. Yeah. Uh, green jersey, so we rode that into Paris. So he rode this bike into Paris? That bike, won a stage, won the green jersey in Paris. Tornado Tom from the dust, dusty. No way. Yep, absolutely. Good old quick step. You're kidding me. So this is the bike. The bike. Riding. Absolutely. Tour of Flanders 06. Yeah. So um, that there was a winning. So bike. this is Tom Boonen's bike as well. Yep. So yeah. So this is the bike Tom Boonen down there. No way. Yep. So pretty much everything the same except the wheels. And that there's his spare spare classics bike. Why have you got all Tom Boonen's bikes? Yeah, uh, Medium in 07. Yeah. Um, 
and yeah, no nine went around to his garage. He had about twelve bikes there, and uh, yeah, he wanted to get rid of a couple. So I was and so you hands. bought them off him. Well, I bought them off him to sell them. So yeah. guys, if you want some Tom Burnham bikes, get in contact with uh, Mark Ferguson, and we'll uh, do a bit of a deal. <laughs> yeah. Comes with one of the. Oh, bikes. Are you kidding? So authentic. Authentic. <laughs> yeah. So that's his garage, and he's got his world championship bike just in the in the distance there, in, uh, in the back of the garage. Wow. So he gave you this, or he? No, well, I like. Uh, well, he gave me that jersey, but um, no, I, I bought the bikes. Yeah. And, um, you know, pure, purely for an investment, you know, just because he wanted to get rid of them. Yeah. And, um, and I just thought, yeah, I'll well, take them off his hands. So. Wow, that's cool, man. It was, uh, the mechanic of Rubber Bank. <laughs> Oscar he organized it. This Oscar is Oscar Freer, three times world road race champion. And this is his jersey. This is his a... personal jersey that he gave to Tim. When I won the worlds as a as a here you go, it's not an Audi. That's an Audi. <laughs> That's What's it supposed to do? It's meant to preserve the paint, not for this person who owns it, but for the next person who buys it. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get ready for the wedding. So I got to iron my shirt, which I haven't done for a long time. I think I've spelt privileged wrong, but uh, this is the wedding card for Dan and Cassie. We um, we all split up some money, and then I thought it might be funny just to put in a five and maybe a two dollar coin, and a ten cent piece, and then we've gone with the extra. Some Panadol. Some Panadol. Ribbed condom. Ribbed condoms. I bought from the Obi. How are you feeling, bro? Big day today. Ready to go. Hey, it's It's peaking dark. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. You've got to bottle it. I want your shirt off at this wedding as well. <laughs> Mate, my shirt will be off at the ceremony. <laughs> Yeah, so um, my name's Ashley. Um, Mark's been staying with me for about seven weeks now. Um, I can't shake him, but that's yeah, cool. Um, and now we're just gonna see what Hannah's, oh my God, Hannah. What have we got here? Oh my God, this is a scene ever movie. <laughs> Wait, whoop. <laughs> Mark's serving drinks at the wine. Hannah's uh, getting ready now, she's uh, a little bit stressed, to be honest with you. But yeah, we're good to go. We're just gonna head out to this wedding now. It should be fun. It's gonna be a really good night because a lot of the crew that are going to this uh, thing tonight are good mates of mine for years. It's it should be some good footage tonight, actually. <laughs> We're gonna be doing full vlogging. <laughs> you didn't even worry about it, hey? Fully equipped. Fully equipped. They don't pull off. I think that's them arriving on the boat. <laughs> 